Boys, I just checked the news, and the Secret Service also told me that a literal zombie apocalypse is going on in our country right now. I got the message, too. What are we doing? Oh, no. They are coming. Look behind you, Trump. Great, so they know we are here. We have to leave. That's what we are doing. Ah, bro, what? Shoot the damn zombies. Those were two headshots, and you... Come on, die. I think you need to shoot in the head in order to kill them easily. Look behind you, too. There is more. Y'all have rifles finish that prick. Eat this, bitch. It's getting dark outside, and we made a lot of noise. I think we should dip as soon as possible before we get surrounded by them. Ah, what the? He scared the shit out of me. Help, I don't have any bullets left. I got your back, bro. Come on, let's go. We can't stay here anymore. I've managed to put my hand again on the presidential car so this should help us a lot since it's bulletproof and probably zombie proof too where are we heading at i think we should go on a mountain or something to escape from this what do you think we are bro some little bitches we are going to save the world that's why we are the presidents right um i actually became the president to steal as much money as possible not to save the world from a zombie apocalypse then today you will find your true purpose in life joe can i also find out where are we going right now we are going in the city to search for people and save them and maybe clean the streets from these zombies bro are you crazy i thought we were supposed to escape from this not go in the middle of it to act like some superheroes can you stop being a super hoe and shut up with all that crying we need to save our people from this tell him obama at least you're not afraid like him. Look at his face. The only thing in his mind right Watch now. Watch out. Oh, crap. Ah, shit. We're good. We're good. We're good, bro. You almost killed us. Pay attention to the road, idiot. I don't want to go out like that. Yo, I totally forgot this car has smoke and gas grenades equipped. We're invincible in this. Not so invincible if you keep driving like this. At this speed, if you hit a ramp, we're going to land on the maze bank. And, oh, wow. Well, it was nice meeting you guys. No, Trump, what are you doing? Um, everything is under control. Come on, stop. You see, right in time. I'm the best driver, you Y'all wouldn't know how to handle this car. But I would know to not go 200 miles per hour down a hill. Damn, bro, this city is really empty. Are there even, ah, damn, stupid creatures plus 100 points? Are we even going anywhere specifically? Or we are just driving around hoping to find civilians? Our first stop is the police station. We need to see maybe we can find some help or maybe loot it if nobody is there. Who are you trying to find there, bro? Rick Grimes? The city doesn't even have electricity anymore. Who knows what we can find there? That's why we are going to explore it. Yo, I have a question. Weren't there two of these cars? Where's the second one? It could have helped us. The second one is back at the White House. You can go by yourself and get it if you want. Nah, I'm good, thanks. Joe, can't you be grateful that I've taken you in this car and I didn't let you ride a bicycle through the city while a zombie apocalypse is going on? That would have been an impossible task for Joe because he can't ride any. Did you forget? Can you stop referring to that video where I fell off that bike because I lost my balance? And Trump, can you stop the sirens? You're alarming all the zombies in the area and giving people false hope that the police it's on their way when in fact it's the United States president's running over zombies and civilians. Damn, bro, shut your mouth. You're doing too much talking. Obama, if he says one more word, put him in a chokehold. Both of you need to calm down. Here we are at the police station, and as I guessed, it doesn't look like it has much activity around it. The lights are off. No cops outside. Let's see what's inside. Get out your weapons and be aware of the surroundings. This can be a trap. Or it can be full of zombies. It looks scary, bro. Can we just get back in the car and drive to another place? Whoever is in here, get out with your hands up. Oh, damn, bro, this thing is dark. Let me get out my flashlight. That's what Michelle said when she first saw it. What did you say about my wife? Nothing, bro, chill. I didn't say anything. It looks like the cops left in a rush from here. I don't know how this PC is still on, though. Maybe it's on the generator. But there are still documents here. They didn't even have time to clean this place up. They just dipped interesting well it ain't like outside isn't an apocalypse yo here i found a bulletproof vest nice yahoo can we leave now i i don't like it in here no both of you come with me we didn't explore the whole police station we need to go on the roof too hold up wait for me i have to be careful with the stairs you know how i get well i'm sorry bro i can't wait for you to take it slowly on the stairs you can use your arms to go up like a dog that you are. Maybe that will help you to not fall. It's okay, Trump. I'm looking out for him. Joe, give me your hand, and if you make it anything... Mm, to give you my hand to hold it? What you trying to do, Obama? You know the lights are off. Yeah, that's it, buddy. Have fun falling on the stairs. Nothing's here. Not even the helicopter. The city looks so weird without any lights. At least we have some high ground. Look at those lazy-ass walkers. Let's see if I can headshot some. One. Oh, perfect. What do we have now? A two, shooting contest. What happened to the saving the world part? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean a shitting contest? Three, Not Obama. You come with the craziest four, ideas. Uh, a shooting missed, contest, idiot. If we were in a shitting contest, I would have won already because I'm shitting on you in every aspect. That's a weird thing to say, but okay, I guess we're all losing our sanity slowly with this apocalypse. Oh, trust me, Joe. You've lost your sanity way before this. Now let's get out of here. I think I have alerted all the zombies in the area. Yeah, thanks to your shooting practice, I'm telling you... If 
if they come and block us in this police station, we're throwing Joe into them to get out. Try and do that, and both of you are turning into zombies before you can blink. Don't play with me. I don't think that would help us much, Oba. What is... Ah! Zombies! They've entered in the police station! Oh, no, shoot them. Come on. Oh, no. No, no, no. Die, you monster. Oh, nice. Look, there is more. Hey, Joe, do you remember what we talked about a couple of seconds ago? Do something sketchy, and I'm blowing this whole thing up with you in it. I don't care. Both of you need to shut up and think of a way to get out of here. Let's jump from the building. Actually, I know what to do. Enjoy the obama minator. Oh, great. Talking about blowing up things. And look, you started a fire. Now we are about to get cooked in here. I think Obama's option to escape is the only valid one now. Chill out, old head. The fire is about to go out and the building is made out of concrete. Nothing that can burn here. Let's wait until it goes away and hope this was all of them. Obama, what happened with those drones you had? Make the call and free us from here. Drop some bombs at the entrance so we can leave. How would you like me to call if there is no service? I would have done that already, but with the target being you, if that was the case. Loot the bodies to see what they have. And as I thought, there are more of them. Come on, we need to rush. You bitch can go down. When I told you guys to leave as soon as we got here, I knew what I was talking about. Oh shit, it looks like it's clear outside. Quick, let's run to the car, jump in it and drive off before this place gets filled with walkers. We risked our life and we were about to die just for a bulletproof vest. This was the dumbest idea to come here. Look what's behind. A crowd of zombies was about to ambush us. If we didn't get out in time, that would have been our end. But it isn't and we got out. Now let's go to search for survivors. I see on the map we have some signals that civilians are there. Hopefully they are peaceful too. I don't think they want to bite the hood of this car. And I don't think they want to see the hood out of me get out. The hood out of you? You're not built like that, buddy. I know, but I remember Michelle told me this once when I said her back muscles are popping today and I thought it sounded cool. Say something about her one more time and I'll make sure you'll be the first one getting bit by a zombie. All right, we're nearly there. Get your weapons ready. We don't know what their intentions might be. We should be kind to them in case we restore the population back to normal. They can be our next voters. Yo, I never thought about this. Now that it's an apocalypse going on, can I run for the presidency if things are back to normal? This should be like a reset in my opinion. Hey Brody, no, you're not dreaming. Trump, Obama, and Biden came to the rescue. Now don't do anything dumb before someone gets hurt. Where are his other friends at? And why is he on a hill by himself? Oh, they are somewhere around here. Let's go and search for them, too. Get in the car. Let me sit in the back with him just so I'm sure. Oh, shit, they are shooting. They must be the other civilians, but why are they shooting? Um, I can't jump this. Help, Trump, how did you do it? Oh, my. Y'all are so slow. Come on, just back up a little bit and jump. Ah, zombies. Shoot the zombies, bro. Now, nah, bro, shoot them crazy-ass people. I heard a bullet pass by my ear. I think they are trying to kill us. I'm waiting 10 more seconds for you two to get in. If not, I'm leaving. Hurry up. I'm coming right now. What are we doing with idiot? Go in the back. Oh, yeah, I said I was going to sit with him. Oh, no. What were you about to say, Obama? What are we doing with... With who or what? What are we doing with this civilian that we just recruited? We are separating him from his group. What if he's bitten and infected? Not gonna lie, we just took him for no reason. There are many risks we're taking right now having him in our car. We are saving the people. What do you mean? His friends were shooting us, so how can we take them too? Exactly, his friends were shooting us, not some random people. Yo, bro, do one wrong move and I'm putting a bullet in your head. We should try and make a shelter for the survivors. Yeah, bro, sure, shelter for survivors when we don't even have what to eat for ourselves. Joe is right. Our next stop needs to to be a store or something to loot it. We don't have enough supplies. It's not that we don't have enough supplies. We don't have any supplies. All right, we'll see what we find on the road, but for now, let's get out of the city. I think the zombies are more active at night, so we need to stay out of here until the daylight comes out. And you that we just recruited in the back, just so you know, it was my idea, so... Ah, shit. Obama, why did you flip me off? Look what you did. Shut up, Donald, and drive us to a store. I'm hungry and thirsty. We need to find something ASAP. All right, here it is, a gas station. Let's see if we can find something in here or if it was already looted. I don't see any zombies, so don't make too much noise. This dude keeps screaming, and it's getting on my nerves. I think he's on drugs. You're talking about drugs? I didn't take my pills in two days, and wow, Trump, didn't you say to not make any noise? Yeah, but if someone was here, I had to scare them. Oh, they have some sodas here. Let's see if they're expired. Do they have ice cream? Yo, guys, search for ice cream, please. I found some good shit in here. Clean out every shelf you see. Anything in here can help. And if they have ice cream here, Joe, it would be melted because without electricity, the freezers don't work. Melted or not, I want it. Really? And you know what I want? I want a walker to come from behind you and bite your tongue. What the? Why would you want Joe to kiss a zombie? Did I say kiss? I said bite because I don't want to hear him talk anymore. Thank you, bro. I knew you were somewhat weird, Donnie, but I never knew you were that weird. With this occasion, I get to see y'all true faces. So you want me to get bit and then transform? Is that what you want to see? All right, chill out. It was a joke highlighting how much I want you to shut up. Get in the car. They are already here because they heard you barking. Yeah, not because you shot the store up before we even entered. Is this guy coming with us, or what is he doing? No, he's staying here, actually. Goodbye. What? No, bro, what are you doing? Go back. What, Joe? Are you feeling bad for him? No worries, I got you. Hey, bro, maybe you want to get in the trunk? 
Ah, shit. Oh, no. What is the car doing? I can't control it. Damn, we gotta go now. Wow, so not only did we separate him from his group, we drove him in the middle of nowhere at a gas station on a highway, only to get run over by the United States president's car, and then left in smoke. Damn, now that you put it like this, nah, I still don't care. Bro thought he can hang around with the presidents and get to use our supplies. It's an apocalypse. He shouldn't have trusted us. What's this here, entering hostile zone? Oh no, Trump run. No, we are not running, we are fighting whoever. Maybe there are captive civilians over here. Yo, what's this red flare? Bro switches up so fast from killing innocent people to wanting to save them. You, it's a trap. No, we're getting ambushed. Run. I'm running, but over them. Haha, <laughs> take this, stupid. Calm down, boys. We're in a bulletproof car. They can shoot how much they want. We're going to kill them without even leaving it. Watch this. I'm throwing grenades all over this place. Ah, a red flare. It was the perfect opportunity to call for a drone strike here. Maybe next time I find a radio or something to call for it, that would be a perfect backup in situations like this. For once, your drones would have really had a purpose other than destruction without any motive. What are you talking about? I've never used them without any motive. It was always either for freedom or for the oil resources that we deserve. Resources that we deserve. It's the apocalypse, Barrett. We don't have to lie anymore. Let's be honest, we were stealing that shit. Bro, how many times do I have to give them a face massage with these tires before they leave us alone? Why don't we just get out and start shooting them? I think I'm comfortable in this car. I'm not trying to get myself into a shootout right now. One down the hill. And where is the other one? The thing is that we have this flare, so the zombies will definitely come here to see what is going on. Oh, and good thing that you turned off the siren now after we are almost done. The whole city is going to come here, so we have to move fast. That's it. I think we eliminated the last one. I'm backing up to the airdrop to loot it. As soon as I get out, you guys are on the lookout, so nobody comes while I'm looting. That guy you just left at the gas station could have helped us. How he could have helped us, Joe? He only had a bat. Instead of you guys threatening me that I'm going to be thrown as food for the zombies. We could have done that with him. True, but until we had the opportunity to do that, he would have still taken a lot of supplies because in this situation, it made no sense to throw him out. So it's better to just have you here in case something like that occurs. Um, hold up, boys. Wait for me. I got to get in the car. Yeah, sure, Obama. Go to the side where the zombies are. Ah, shit. Yo, yo, yo. He was about to bite me. Dumbass creatures, bro. Um, that's what they do. I don't know who's dumber. Just get in. We need to go. What did the drop have in it? Some weapons, and that was it. All of that for some weapons? Wow. Here we go, baby. Woohoo! another airdrop. How are you doing, fellas? Hope you all had a great day because it ends now. You right here, come on my hood, you too. Oh, great, we're forcing our way through anything. Let's do it the American way, boys. That's what we like to see. All right, on my go, we get out and start shooting them. No longer staying in the car. Go! Ah, come on, I'm tired of being a bitch where they are. Get out, you idiots, and taste some of the American freedom. The bald eagle came to the rescue. Don't hide now. Yes, Joe. Fight with them like they held ice cream in this crate. Ice cream? Oh, no, nah, no, nah, I'm definitely headshotting everybody. Watch out, Obama. You might catch one, too, if you're not careful. And you might catch this uppercut if you do not shut up. You, it rhymed. Did you guys like it? Uppercut if you don't shut up. Nah, hold up. I need to write that down. Now nah, we're clearly losing it. Joe acts like Superman after he heard there is ice cream in the crate. And you, Obama, you are doing freestyles in the middle of a shootout. Oh, yes, shoot up. Shoot up what? Where? Uppercut, if you don't shut up, then I might have to shoot up. Y'all get it? Now, this is crazy. So if you don't shut up, I might have to shoot up. Bro, you were at the car this whole time. This can't be real. What are you doing? I'm cooking, bro. Can't you hear? Leave me alone. Let me cook. Get in the car, dumb idiot. Trump, go in the city. The sun came out. We need to find some more civilians. Here they are. What are they doing? Are they shooting one at each other? Hey, stop it. The presidents have arrived. What are you guys up to? I don't think they have good intentions. They might be two gangs trying to kill each other, so... Ah, he's shooting us. What the... This is an assassination attempt. Run! I think he just wants retaliation for what you did to this country, that's all. Hey, bro, can you clean the rear windshield for me? Boys, don't panic. Stay in the car. We're handling these hooligans immediately. I just need them to stay still so I can hit them with the car. So the idea that we started off with that we were going to save our country is down the drain, I guess. Because every encounter we had with a civilian so far ended up with the actual civilian under the wheels of our car. Or with him being left stranded in the middle of nowhere in a smoke bomb. I mean, it ain't my fault they saw us and started letting off bullets in our vehicle right away. I'm getting down and I'm cleaning them with my rifle. I'm tired already. Hello, am I doing this by myself? Can you guys shoot them too? Damn I all. Um, boys? Oh, uh... Yo, boys. What, bro? And can we go? I hear the walkers. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Um, I think so because we are in the same car, so that's how it should work. It's Mount Chiliad, bro. Wow. 
That's the tallest mountain. I think we should go on it. No zombies can get to us there. No, but they can get to us while we are here. And how would you want to even get there? With our car? Duh. How else do you think, bro? By climbing it with our feet? You can't even, ah, what the? He scared the shit out of me. Can you tell these pricks that we don't have any change and just go, we are starting to get surrounded by them? Sure thing, Obama. Let me make sure my trunk is closed and then we can leave. Ah, shit. Yeah, I think it's close, all right. We're going to that Mayweather drop. I have a surprise for y'all. Surprise? Yes, I want surprises. And wait, Mayweather drop? Where did Floyd Mayweather drop? I'm gonna call Floyd Mayweather to drop your ass if you don't stay off those pills you've been taking. What pills, bro? I haven't taken any in days. We're in an apocalypse. So that's why you've been acting like this. I understand it now. So can you tell us what's the surprise or show us? And we just entered a hostile zone, nice. Yes, because we need to be here in order to show you. Hold tight, we're going in. What do you mean we're going in? Oh, not again. What is the surprise, bro? This is the surprise getting shot. I would have preferred to keep it for yourself. The surprise is that I have 10 ice creams in the back ready for you if you shut up. Did you understand? I think he did. Is that what it really is? No, Obama, it's actually a surprise for you. Let me get out of the car. I'm gonna throw something, then go right back in it and wait. So you tricked me? There is no ice cream? Nah, I'm blowing this shit down. I want my ice cream now. Is that a flare? What did you just do? Get back in the car fast, cause shit really about to get blown down. Just look at the sky, Obama, and you will see something wonderful, something that it's going to bring you joy. Is Michelle flying or what? I don't understand, bro. What is this shit? Wait, are those? No way, those are my precious, beautiful drones that bring democracy and freedom wherever they fly. Yes, Obama, they are. Look at this. The car is connected to them so you can shoot wherever you want from this screen inside of it. Nah, this is crazy. How did you even manage to do that? I was cleaning the car and I found in the trunk some type of radio device next to some flares. So I turned it on and as soon as I did that, I saw on the screen of the vehicle something saying drone strike awaiting command. And I said, no way. I even forgot you can do that from the presidential car. Now, can I, can I have it, please? No, Trump, don't give those flares to him. I'm sorry, Obama, but I can't let you have this. If I do that, the end of the world would probably happen because you are going to throw the flares right and left and stick one up your ass to run around with it. This is crazy, so you're going to do that to me? Nah, I'll never forget it. Come on, Donald, give me at least one. Donnie, come on, bro. I'm sorry, Obama. It's better for all of us if they stay with me. Can you stop begging like a dog and shut up? I've been going through this apocalypse with no ice cream and I never cried like you. Can you imagine? No ice cream? For days, Barack, for days. Yeah, but those drones are like my kids, bro. Anyway, look, we have another Mayweather drop. Can you go there and use it one more time? I wanna see again how they are shining. Oh my, good thing that we went on the Chiliad, boys. Let's nuke this whole city then, if that's what Obama wants. I should have kept this shit a secret. All right, here we are, I can't wait to see it again. Now I kind of understand why Obama was using it so much. It does seem pretty fun. And I was being called the crazy one this whole time. I told you guys, it's something I would say special about how the bombs drop on the target and then explode. Here it goes, ah shit, they are shooting, get back in. Did you get shot? I have this presidential suit on, which is somewhat bulletproof, I think I'm good. Where do you engage the bombs? I wanna drop some myself, at least let me do that. Okay, but be careful to not drop any on our car. So you have to look on this screen right here, and when they approach, it's gonna pop up a map with a view from the sky, then press engage to drop wherever you want, and I repeat, not on our car. Okay, bro, I understood. Let me concentrate so they should be around here and engage. Wow, yes, I want more. Come on, one more time. I, I think they are dead, Obama. Take this, idiots. Yes, come on, one more. Hey, bro, what are you doing? That's it, Barack. I knew you would abuse the shit out of it. The first and last time I've let you do this. Bro, chill. Come on, I wanted to be sure that they are dead. That's all. You wanted to be sure they are dead like we were about to be if you had control over that thing one more second. How did you manage to leave this idiot alive? Let me serve him some gas grenades. All right, bro, I admit it. Maybe I wasn't thinking right in that moment. I'm sorry, I just, how do I put it? It's just how those bombs dropped, instantly producing that shock wave, making me want to do it again and again and again and again. Again and, and again, we get it, bro. You are mentally ill. It's okay, we're gonna get through this. I can't believe with who am I surviving an apocalypse with. I was better off having a dog as my companion. Well, we have Joe, which is basically the same thing, so it's all good, and I bet a dog can't send bomb strikes that precisely. Call me a dog how much you want, because I got that dog in me. And Obama quit trying to be funny before I really stick a flare up your ass like Trump said. Then we will see how much you love those drones. Who left this door open? You animals need to learn how to have good manners and close it when you use it. The only thing you have in you, Biden, is- Whoa, 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 pause. Come on, bro, really? What, I didn't even get to finish what I was about to say. Trump, how about that Chiliad Mountain? Do we get to climb it now, or can I rest easily knowing we're not dying today? We are going to rescue survivors now. Here we are, hopefully we can actually rescue and not kill them this time. Only if they don't start shooting us first, and if Trump doesn't throw gas grenades at our feet. Donald, I think you have a little too much speed. Don't worry, bro, this car has good 
brakes. Ah, shit. Good brakes, huh? You, you sent that bitch all mal. Great, now they are shooting. I'm speechless. It's like we can't do shit. What type of presidents are we, bro, when we kill our own people? It's not my fault I didn't break in time. Then whose fault is it? It's that hoe's fault because she didn't avoid the car. I don't know how you could have even seen this car coming, but whatever, who are they shooting now? These people are crazy. Joe, what did you say earlier about killing our own people? Get back in the car, it's about to be a show. Oh yes, I was hoping you'd do that. Come on, bro, on civilians. They shot at us and we are outnumbered. What do you want me to do? Maybe to try and drive like a normal person, not like you are Lightning McQueen. Yeah, if you didn't hit one of their people, I don't think they would have shot at us. Well, let's wait and see now what is really about to hit them. Hopefully only them and not us. Can I be the one who controls it again? No, you can't. I'm sorry. I've already told you that. So as far as I see, here is the flare. I think they are right now between those two cars. Oh, here. Okay. One, two, three and deploy. That was spectacular. Impressive accuracy, Trump. You could work on some things, but altogether was great. Oh, thanks, Obama. Let's back up and loot what they have. Yeah, Trump, I wanted to ask how many flares do you got left? Um, I don't know, to be honest. They were 25 in that trunk and now I have 21. Why? Don't you think that we should keep them for situations where we actually need a drone strike? to help us? Throwing it on civilians isn't the best choice. The best choice would be to throw one on you. Nah, the best choice would be to throw one on Michelle. I think that's the only way you can stop her if she's angry and she transforms. Can you all stop arguing and help me loot all of them faster before more zombies come? Then we can go somewhere else. I think I already know where. What is this, bro? Is this, is this a prison? Yes, Obama. Good observation skills. It is, in fact, a prison. What are we doing here? I came to free all my bros that are locked up and maybe see what's in it. Can you imagine this is where I was about to end up if the apocalypse didn't take place? Yeah, can you imagine a world that was so peaceful with you behind bars? I would have come to visit you only to remind you how good it is outside those brick walls. Oh, shit. The gate is closed and look, they came outside. I don't think there are any survivors here, so we might need to exterminate all of them. A great opportunity to use the drone strikes here. With that, you can even destroy this prison that you hate so much. I say we should do it. Come on. Don't listen to him, Donald. He's just feigning to see some explosions in front of his eyes. Remember what we've talked about earlier? There is no point in doing that. Let's keep them in case we really are fighting with someone, or if we are really in trouble being surrounded by zombies or who knows what can happen. I have to agree with you, Joe, on this one. If I had a camera, I would have recorded this moment because it's very rare for something like that to happen. But yes, let's clean this prison with our weapons. Well, at least I tried. We might be too close to these gas bombs. I don't want to end up like the last time and wake up in the back seat of our car while Trump was driving with 200 miles per hour. Shut up, bitch, and shoot them. We don't have too many left. Try to aim at their head so they can drop instantly. That's what I'm doing, but these boys look like their only meal in prison was titanium with Kevlar. They ain't going down for shit. Sounds like a meal Michelle would want. Hey, bro, I've warned you multiple times before. Do one more joke about her and I'm sticking this rifle up your nose. Up my nose? You have the weirdest ways to revenge? All right, that was it. Let me throw one of these for the last time and then we can go on that mountain to... Oh, no, run. What did you do, you dumb idiot? Is that a grenade? No, it's not. Chill out. He's so dumb that he threw that lil' ass gas bomb and it hit the building. Can both of you just stop insulting me and get in the car before something bad happens? Like what? Like me taking a shit in this car right now. What the? Trump, stop. Look right there on the map. We have a hostile car near us. I think we should go and teach them a lesson. Great. I guess we'll get on that mountain when Obama becomes the president again. We should leave that to when is daylight outside. For now, let's handle these guys. Now tell me this isn't a situation where we really need help from my beautiful drones. Come on, I want to hear it. We don't know for now. Look, they are coming. Be prepared to shoot. Ah, they are shooting. That isn't fair. Jump back in the car. What do we do now? Can you throw a flare from the inside of the car? I don't think so because you can't roll down the windows. I don't see any button that does that. Oh no, it's not looking good. Let me think, maybe I can throw some of these to make them run away. Oh yeah, I forgot because the windows are bulletproof. You can't roll them down. What are we doing right now? Because whatever we're doing, it doesn't seem like it's working. We need another plan. All right, switching to our backup plan. Come on, smoke grenades deploy. We need to hide somewhere and throw a flare. After that, it's a wrap for them. I don't think the smoke grenades tactic is working. I still hear bullets banging this car. They can probably see us, so we should move. Go and hide behind this rock or something. Hiding behind the rock would probably help us, not gonna lie. That boy eats bullets for breakfast. What are you guys talking about, bro? Wake up, we are in the middle of a shootout. How do y'all always malfunction when I need you guys the most? I gave you genuine advice, bro. Barrack is probably high because he saw you get out that flare and he knows what is coming. And they are still shooting at us. No worries, you criminals. Be prepared to dap up the rockets that are coming down on you. Wait for the signal and then deploy them, bitches. Can I be the one who does it this time? Both of you did it and I want to try it too. Okay, go ahead. There's your signal and be careful. Finally, I got my hands on it. 
Okay, so first I need to zoom in. No, that's our car, idiot. Don't press anything. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, my bad, my bad. Then this should go. Bro is bombing anything. You Trump, you made a mistake letting this One, degenerate two, three, control boom, the bomb Let's strikes. Go. Joe, go down. Stop going around the area where we have our car. Look here, they are hiding. And that was it with your tryout. I got to the conclusion that none of you will ever touch this thing again. Hey, Trump, do you remember a couple of minutes ago when you told us to get in the car before you take a shit in it? Um, yeah, well... Why? I think I've just did it for you when Joe was playing with that target around our car. Did you guys really think that I was about to send a strike on our car? I was just testing the controls. Yeah, and I think you also wanted to test the fire rate. To be honest, who am I fooling? If Trump didn't yell at me in that second, I would have pressed deploy and that would have been our end, but here we are now. Bro, I have a question. How are there lights in the city? They weren't any until now. I think it's because we have those wind turbines in the back that are still generating electricity. Anyways, let's stop at a gas station. Here it's clear. Clear on my side too, Obama. What are you doing? Trying to look for baby wipes. I can confirm I finished your challenge. Maybe I can rob this, uh, it's locked. Just like you were about to be. Joe, I don't think you want to get hit in the face with the cash register. And about that, if I were to be in prison before the apocalypse took place, would have y'all come and save me? Mm, no. You would be infected before I even think about going there, so no. That's why I would trade both of you for a bag of chips and an open soda. Don't let the fact that without me, you two would be zombies go over your head. And don't forget how many times we helped you to fight the enemies, even though they were innocent civilians. That's true. Let me gas the store so people know somebody has been here already. And that's dumb to say because it can go both ways. Even you, if we're single and had to fight someone else, you would perform... Mmm, some refreshing air. Thank you, Donnie. Now, can you put the door back before I die? Hold tight back there, Joe. I know it's a strong wind, but you got it. I don't know what's worse. The fact that I ate three flies so far, or the fact that I can smell the shit from Obama. I don't think you want to eat my fist as a dessert, too, Biden. Finally, we got here. We got at the base of Mount Chiliad, but I'm too tired to go and climb it now. I think we should get some rest and then start the expedition. Yes, finally we get some sleep. I think I beat my record. I didn't sleep in like 12 hours, bro. That's insane. I have a question. Where are we supposed to be sleeping? Um, about that very tough question. I get the car and you two the parking lot. Bye. Ah, uh, yo boys, are you awake? That was one long nap. I don't know how I woke up before you. Yeah, that's crazy not going ah, to. Ah, what the? Bro, we are surrounded by zombies. Why didn't y'all tell me? I was hoping they can break the window and bite you. Thanks, Joe. So today, as we said, we are about to go on the Mount Chiliad. Yoo-hoo, only one question. Can this car even get us there? I don't think it was made for off-road. The only way to find out is if we try. And yo, Joe, I forgot you don't have a door anymore. How did you even manage to sleep? How did I manage to sleep? I didn't trump. I didn't. That's the answer. I was falling asleep for 10 minutes, then waking up because of the zombie noise. And y'all were wondering how I woke up before you guys. I didn't sleep. That's how. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Sleepy Joe. Now I can actually call you that. You are going to get some rest once you land on the mountain. Land on the mountain? What do you mean land? We're in a car, idiot. Yeah, land, because I'm about to uppercut your ass, sending you directly into space. If you keep crying and complaining, put your seatbelt on so you don't fall out of the car when I make a sharp turn and shut up. Nah, that's crazy disrespect, Biden. Something I wouldn't personally take, but I'm not about to instigate. What do you mean you don't want to instigate? You just did that, but don't worry, I know what I'm about to do with Trump. He thinks shit is funny. What are you about to do? As a matter of fact, hold that thought, Brody, because in the next five minutes, you will probably forget it. Nah, I'll give him three. Okay, here is where the actual road starts, as far as I remember. Come here, you little prick. Oh. Look what we have here. Go through them. What are you waiting for? I think it's better if I drop some gas grenades. I don't want to damage the car. I don't have a door. Did you forget? If you gas them, you're going to gas me too. Shit, that sounds like a plan. Nah, he's right. Let me go ahead and go through them. We might gas ourselves in the process. Not only Joe, bro, this shit sucks. How did we manage to lose the door? One of the most important parts of this car. Yo, exactly. How the... How did we manage to lose the door? Nah, this is crazy. What if the zombies took it? Are you both slow? Did you guys forget we lost it at the gas station when Trump's dumb ass crashed into another car? Nah, I knew that. I was just testing to see where Joe's memory is at. It seems that his last update is before we went to sleep. Look at how are you driving. Can you do less of the talking and more of looking at the road and where you drive? Are we even going to find anything there? Why did we choose to go all the way up on this mountain? Hopefully we are going to find peace, since I think no zombies are up there, and maybe start to build a base or something. Build a base? Are you crazy? Bro, we need to flee from this city as soon as possible. We must find a way to get out, not to stay here and build a neighborhood. And where do you want to go, bro? This shit is globally. Where is the Air Force One plane located at? Maybe if we can get access to it, we can fly on an island or a safer place. It's in a hangar at the military airport, but I don't know how we can even get there. It's probably abandoned and closed. Otherwise, we would have at least heard some radio messages from them. Since the car has a built-in radio, and they should also have access to the GPS on it. Donald, can you stay on the road? Or whatever this shit is called that doesn't involve too much rocks and dirt? 
especially now since we are climbing. What do you mean that doesn't involve too much dirt and rocks? Do you not know what a mountain is made out of? Did you skip all your biology classes? I think that's, I think that's geography. Nah, geography is about countries and shit. Your bro talking about that. Biden, tell me one more time, who was Russia at war with before this apocalypse? Hey man, you have some cars ahead. Be careful, and what do you mean? Wasn't that Iraq? Bro, Russia was losing that war, not gonna lie. Come on, car, go, go, go. Ah, shit. Come on with a second try. We got this. And yes, Biden, the war between Russia and Iraq, what a crazy one, right? I don't think this car was built for this shit. Or maybe, all right, well, let me shut up. Keep going. And you, Biden, I really don't know how you ended up being the president. Maybe if you weren't in the office, we wouldn't have had this zombie apocalypse. How is it my fault? Tell me how I could have stopped this shit. By not being the president, that's how. Watch out. Oh, nice. Why did you stop? At least go full speed through them. Don't try to run over them gently. Let's see how we get past this now. Shut up. Let me concentrate. Oh, come on. We lost all the speed. I think the problem is that the car is too heavy. Maybe try to get rid of another door or all of them since one is already missing. Why do we still keep the other three? And how would you want to get rid of them? You talking like I have a button that drops all the doors and don't even worry. The best driver that the United States has ever seen found a solution to get out of ah, this. Keep it on all of the four wheels, Donald. And if you are the best driver, then what is Obama? The best strategic drone striker. I like that title better. You can keep the driving one. Oh, OK. Mm -hmm. Then what am I? The worst president that ever existed. Oh, damn. Look how many zombies are here. Move, stupid car. Hey, bitch, eat this. Ah, stop, bro. We were about to fall. What are you doing? My bad. Stop panicking. I was about to hit the acceleration instead of the brakes because you screamed. Um, guys, the rain just started. It isn't looking too good. Donnie, please be extra cautious from now on. We can slip at any second. Oh, my. This shit just got harder. And we're stuck in the middle of it. We can't even go down now. We need to advance. Wow, great. Do you guys have by any chance a piece of paper and a pen? I don't think so. Why? I want to write a letter to my family. Because with Trump driving and your dementia ass, that's about to go to sleep at any second. I don't think we have any chance of going through this storm and getting on the top of this mountain. Trump, are you dumb? Why did you break? Look at how we are sliding down now. You piece of shit, you ain't good at anything. Why did we think that it was a good idea to try and climb this mountain? No, this can't be it. We need to find a way. Come on, boys, wake up. I pressed the brake pedal because if I didn't, we would have gone off the cliff. We had too much speed. This car is ass, bro. It's like the handbrake doesn't work. The wheels are not rotating. I turned the AC on and the heat to the maximum, but it's still cold in it. That's because we're missing one door, you Cheeto head. Cheeto head? Now I want Cheetos. Let's stop and loot these zombies. Maybe we can find some. Maybe you should try to drive properly. How does that sound? Now. Joe, one sharp turn and you fly out of this car. Keep talking like that and you're going to learn how aerodynamic you are. Aero what? Anyway, I have the seat belt from the left seat and the seat belt from the right seat on me, so any maneuver you do ain't gonna do shit to me. Can you two just stop arguing and be focused on, ah! No, no, no! Trump, what did you do? Ah! ah! Oh shit, my head, I've hit my head. Did you really want to test if I get thrown out of this car? Oh no, we're going down. Boys, hold tight, ah, ah shit. I can't stop it, I have no control. Ah no, don't tell me this is it. No. This car ah. was built for this shit, come on, hang tight. I'm hanging as tight as I can until we hit a big ass rock. I should have written that letter earlier. Oh, yeah, I, did we, did we stop? Am I alive? Hello? Yes, shut up, we stopped. Don't make any sudden movements. Let me try to see if I can, nah, I can't move the car, help. Fast call for help. How do you want to call for help, you dumbass? We're in the middle of nowhere in a zombie apocalypse. Well, then I guess it's time for the backup plan. Let's climb this bitch with our feet now. Joe, be careful to not trip and fall. I can't believe what just happened, Donald. Just so you know, if you ever put your hands on the steering wheel again, I might call for a drone strike directly on you. Yeah, about that. Say goodbye to those drones from the last time. Because the radio device and control display was connected to the presidential car, no car equals no drones. No drones equal no Obama, bro. I need those back. I don't care. We're going to the military base to find another radio command or something. Let's first figure out how we are going to make it out of this and get on the top of the mountain where hopefully we have some cover and no zombies like Trump said. I don't know how we can get back on that main road. It's very steep and it's raining. The worst conditions that could possibly happen while climbing. Ah, I'm falling. Help. I'm right here, Trump. Don't worry. I got you. You're good. I don't know why. Don't. You stop me. What are you even saying, you bro? Get up. We don't have time for this. I think he, I think he needs some help. Keep going. We're close. Yeah, that's if you don't slip and fall again. Bro, how did you even manage to fall before Joe did? Today has been a crazy one so far. It had nothing to do with me. It had to do with the rain. 
Otherwise, I would run laps around this bitch without a problem. You literally drove off the cliff. What do you mean it doesn't have anything to do with you? And why are you shooting? Because guess what? There are zombies here. Come on fast and help me. Oh, nice. So now after all of this, we have to fight with zombies. Great Trump. I thought there were no walkers here. Just start shooting at them. We need to clear the area. Listen here, Donnie. We're never going to take into consideration any other trip or destination you want to go to from now on. Look where you made us come. How I could have known a thunderstorm was about to happen and that on the top of a mountain you can still find the these creatures. Trump, what are you shooting at, bro? Stop shooting the cars. Hold your fire. As cool as exploding cars are, we don't need to draw more attention. I think we've already drawn enough attention to bring all the zombies in the area here. The zombies that shouldn't have even existed based on what Trump said. Are you going to shut up about what I said and what I didn't? Let me read what's on these signs. Yeah, go and read off some signs while we try to clean the mess you've put us in. Westridge Trail, Polito Point, and here, Braddock Pass with Aerial Tramway, Eastridge Trail. Great indications. Do you want to hear an even greater one? Go ahead and shoot these pricks in their heads so we can escape out of this. I'm getting sick of it. I didn't sleep properly for a day already. Bro, I'm about to go to catch a nap at any second. How many of them are there? It looks like we are getting surrounded. We need to move to a high ground place so we can get them easily. And we also need to advance. We can't stay in the same spot here. All right, let's move. Come with me. Oh, not again. Trump with the suggestions on where should we go. Hopefully this time it doesn't get worse than it is now. How can it get worse than this? We're literally stuck here. I don't think we can get down without a car. Only if we go with our feet, but that would take a lot of time. And we would also probably lose all the bullets we have on fighting with the zombies. We need some type of cover. I'm going to explore this place and see what's here. Maybe I can find supplies or at least stay inside this building until the rain goes out. I don't know what you do, Trump, but you better find how to escape this. You got us here, you get uh, us out. I fell again. Uh, my head my head hurts. Come on, I need to keep going. Trump, hold up, wait for Trump, us. Trump, hold up, wait for us. Don't go in there by yourself. Who knows Joe, what's inside? Joe, be careful. Well. So you don't I am, but what wait, even wait, is this? Trump, 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 wake up. Trump, wake up. What are all these bodies on the ground? Obama, Joe, where are you guys? I'm, I'm here. You woke up finally. I'm looking for Joe. I can't find him anymore. I don't know where is he. You were out and me and Joe protected you. Then he said he was going to find a way out of this. After that, I didn't see him anymore. What do you mean after that you didn't see him anymore? Come here. What if he's lost? Or the zombies got him? Or he took a quick nap while he was running and fell down from the mountain? The last one is the most possible one. I couldn't just leave you here unconscious, so I told him to do whatever he wants as long as he keeps himself safe. I don't know what to do. Just don't panic. Keep searching for him. I think I took a big hit to the head when we fell with the car. And now when I fell again, something happened to the point where I thought I was awake. But I see that, in fact, I wasn't. Yeah, I figured that out because you was, yo, look, it's Joe. Hey, Biden, stop. Trump woke up. Finally, Joe, we were looking for you. Come here, both of you. Maybe we can take this to go down. I don't think it's a good idea since there is a thunderstorm outside and this shit is made out of metal. And we are on the highest point around here. And you know how good of a friendship thunders and metals have. I don't want to fry myself. This is like a moving oven right now. Yo, what is Joe doing? Did he get lost again? Joe, where the... Where were you at, bro? Oh, hi, Trump. I was looking around here. What do you want? How was the nap, by the way? Can you two guard me while I take a quick one, too? Bro, I told you to follow me and get in the cable car so we can get down from this mountain. Oh, I mean, I don't think I want to do that since it's a thunderstorm outside. And if lighting strikes it, we are all done. And another thing, bro. To be honest, I want to stay here. Y'all can go, but I'm tired of fighting zombies all day long. I didn't sleep at all, and I'm tired. Right now, it seems like it's getting worse. It's dark outside and raining. I would wait at least until it's day, then, if everything goes well, try to find a way down. What, Joe? Nah, you are crazy. We're not leaving any of us behind. We're sticking together no matter what. Where are you going now, Trump? Hey, Trump, what are you doing? Leave me alone. It's all my fault. I can't anymore. If we still had the car, we would have been out of here. Hey, bro, stop it. It has nothing to do with you. I mean, don't get me wrong. You are ass at driving, to be honest. But come on, it's not only about that. Yes, Trump. Listen here. If we got here together, let's leave out of here together. It might be your fault, but we're here now, so why does it matter? It does matter because if I got us in trouble, I must get all of us out of trouble. Um... Yeah, that's what I said, too. But how do you plan of getting us out of trouble like this? I don't get it. I don't think we have enough time to talk right now. Stay safe. Just know that I'm coming back. And if I don't, well, I guess we'll find out. Wait, what are you doing, bro? Hey, stop it, Donald. No! no! Yeah! Oh, my God. Thank God the parachute worked. Finally, my skydiving lessons are paying off. Let's hope I make it safe to the bottom. I will get us all out of this. Well, Obama, now we're all alone in here. Behind you, idiot. Ah, die, stupid zombie. Thanks, Obama. You saved me once again. For nothing, Joe. We need to work as a team to get out of this. This thunderstorm doesn't seem to end. It's only getting worse. Woohoo! They should teach this in schools. Joe doesn't know how to manage the younglings in this country. As I was saying, Joe, I always liked you more because you never twitted mean things about me. 
Thanks, Obama. Both of you make fun of me for being slow from time to time, but at least I'm not like Trump. Bro got no chills whatsoever. Watch this. Boom headshot. Damn, Joe, your aim is cracked. What can I say? The good old black ops one did some things to me. I'm still rusty, though. Don't worry about that. You got target practice ahead. Lucky me. There are a few, though. Can you give me a hand? You won't need me if you aim for the head. Oh, my God, finally. It took me one hour to get this Honda Civic-looking car to run. Oh, great. I can't even put the hood down. Whatever. A bad car is better than no car, as long as it's not a Volkswagen. At least now I can go back for the boys and get us off this mountain. Climb up, you metal piece of shit. I got five more kills than you. I expected people like you to be good with guns. What do you mean by that? Look behind. Thanks again, Obama. At least I don't need a hearing aid to survive. Why are there so many zombies anyways? It's only a thing of time before we get run over and infected. Because Trump blew up those two cars. I'm not surprised you forgot. Anyways, I'm handling these zombies way better than you handled any missile crisis. Whenever I got interviewed, I had to talk about bombs and guns. Whenever you got interviewed, you had to talk about your favorite ice cream flavor. Oh, wow. I thought there was something between us, Obama. Now that I took the hood off, I can finally see where I'm going. Hold on tight, boys. Salvation is coming. I just need to go slow and steady to make sure I keep this car on the ground. It's pretty hard to drive with this headache. This car might not be a Batmobile, but it's doing way better than what I expected. There are too many zombies. I can't last much longer. Why are you telling me this? I'm not Michelle. The never-ending circle of hatred continues, I guess. To be fair, you are right, Obama. We cannot continue much longer. Trump is taking way too long. He might be done for all we know. We have to go down the mountain on foot. Follow me. You lead the way, Joe. What the? Oh, my God, it's you guys. I thought you were some evolved zombies. What took you so long? We've been waiting for ages. It took him even longer to move out the White House. Trump, where are you taking us? You don't tell me when to talk. I'm tired of being suppressed. The Founding Fathers didn't create the First Amendment for you to walk over it. This guy was calling me insane. I don't know what he's on about. All that head trauma is getting to him. Wake up, stupid. Oh, huh, what? Sorry, guys, I haven't been feeling great lately. Drive and tell me, where are we going? We are headed for the military base. We should find somebody who can help us there. Sounds great, but it will take us ages to get there. Only if Trump keeps on driving like this. Lizzo? Hurry up, buddy. I drive twice as fast around preschools. I like going slow around preschools. Did you really have to say that, Joe? Guys, please, I'm trying my best. All this noise is not helping me. It's not like I can turn this creepy guy off. Maybe I could if I had some ice cream on me. I have no clue where these zombies keep on coming from, but as long as we keep on moving, we should be all right. Hey, Trump, don't you think we should have gotten down the... No. Okay. My God, Obama, you reek of estrogen. No wonder you like being dominated. Your wife looks like she benches two times more than you. Joe, after I beat the shit out of you, you'll be pleading for some Obamacare. Trump passed me one of those drone strikes. Drone, ah, uh, where am I? Trump, I swear to God, get to your senses already. I can't be stuck in this car with two mental patients. I'm sorry, boys, I made you go through a lot for sure, but this will all be over soon, I promise. Where the hell are you going? Ah! Well, you were right, it was almost over. No biggie, stop complaining, Obama. Nothing happened. The ground is all muddy and you're driving like a maniac. Something is gonna happen sooner or later. All right, Sleepy Joe, one more word and I'm turning the car around. What are you talking about? We needed the presidential car to climb up. No way this piece of shit can go up. Hold tight. What, that wasn't all that bad. Ouch. Uh, what, God damn it, my head. We can't stop, keep on moving. Good thing I had my seatbelt on. True, you are so old and frail that would have sent you into the atmosphere. Says the low testosterone cuck. Joe, you'll get played like a puppet by Congress until the end of your presidency, which is ending in 2024 anyways. I bet I will win the elections again and you will go complaining on Fox News about how I cheated. Every person that voted for you felt dumb after only three weeks. Everything you did in office was dumb. By the way, why do you want to build a wall with Mexico if all your ex-wives are Latinas anyway? This shit more fire than the presidential debate. The presidential debate was the last time Joe was halfway lucid. Trump, you drive like you're cross-eyed. Joe, you might want to take a nap. You've been using a lot of four-syllable words lately. Don't let it exhaust your brain. If we still had the presidential car, I would have broadcasted this. Please, Obama, don't talk. You invaded a whole country to steal their oil and blamed it on 9-11. Steal? I just took back what was ours. Anyways, you finally got us off this mountain. It was a terrible idea to come here. It's hard taking choices. Joe wouldn't know. I don't want to talk about this. Let me guess, it's because of your head again? Well, yes, actually, it's only getting worse. Do you want me to give you a head massage? That's kind of weird, to be honest. No, it's not. I give Michelle back massages all the time. That must take three working days by how wide her shoulders are. You two keep on talking shit about my wife, and you're getting Osama bin Laden. 
Holy shit, Obama, that's so lame. Why won't you just fight us like a man? Get out, boys, we need a break. If I was to fight you, I would be all over the news for beating up disabled people. People, Joe is most likely an alien lizard undercover. Somebody has been watching a lot of Midnight History Channel. History Channel is the mother of all schizophrenia. By the way, I can't wait to see what happens if we stay in this building for too long. Nothing to worry about, Barack. I haven't seen walkers in a while, plus the rain is masking our smell. We can wait in here at least until the thunderstorm is done. Oh my God, finally I haven't slept in eight hours. Hopefully this break can help ease my headache. See ya. That was one hell of a nap. Why did you nap holding your gun? You know I keep that strap on me. You're not from the projects like I am. Don't question it. The projects, you have one of the wealthiest bloodlines. Look outside, Orange Man, it's still raining heavy. Seems to be, Joe. At least there's no thunderstorm out there. Well, what are we thinking, boys? Do we get moving or wait? It's not like we can wait any longer. By the way, how's your head now, Trump? Not good. It's almost like I can feel my brain swole. All you need is some ice cream to cool it down a bit. Don't listen to the old man. Maybe we can get you checked once we get to the military base. Just push through it. Thanks, Obama. You are right. Let's get moving now. We need to get to the city and secure a new car. The old one is too dented. Finally, after all this running around. I'm sorry, boys, but this is the best we got for now. Get in the back. What is this joke of a car? Bro, we stole Abraham Lincoln's car. It's the only unlocked one around here. Hear the car revving, boys? This bitch sounds like it runs on kerosene. Uh, Trump? Nothing to worry about. Thank God we were dead if it wasn't for this car. Well, boys, the past few days we have been running from zombies nonstop. Maybe we can finally find other people. Man, with the past few days, I swear my life a movie. Yeah, the Predator. Bro, shut up. You're your wife's wife. At least I'm married, you sad creature. Oh my God, Trump, can you stop running through every zombie? That one just did a backflip. I'm trying my best, but my head is killing me. I can barely drive. Looks like we are getting close. Yep, just go through the tunnel and we are basically there. The tunnel must be barricaded, but don't worry. I know another way to get inside. Um, where are you going, bro? Not only birds can fly. Ah! Oh, shit. Good job, idiot. Now this car is done for. What are you looking at, moron? Holy shit, I was knocked out cold for like 10 seconds. Anyways, time for my pocket ace. Plan B in action. Whatever you're doing, I don't think I like this. Who let bro cook? Careful, guys. We will be free falling any second now. I'm closing my eyes. Trump, are you trying to get us to see the founding fathers? Huh. Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry for that. It's just, uh, let's go. I see a parking lot. Parking lot? There is no parking lot. All right, time for someone else to take the wheel. No, no, look right here, a parking lot, I told you. I know every corner in this country. Get out, lads. Michelle always drives me and the kids, and Joe is too old to drive. You're lucky, but be more careful. Yes, Trump, you're tripping balls right now. Nonsense. Here I come, freedom. Where are we even going? To the airport's control tower so that we can finally get out of this mess. How would you know if there are people that can help us there? I, uh, I just know, okay, don't question me. I don't have faith in your prediction. You're scaring me, Trump. Shut up, both of you shut up. I know what's best. If you say so. Worst case scenario, we just fetch you to the zombies while we run away. Shut up, you idiots. I see the tower. I need to go inside. I hope they have some pills. My head is killing me. By the way, your head's been hurting for a few days now, and you've also been acting strange. I think it's a tumor, or worse. We're here, finally we're here. I'm so tired of hearing you two. Is this what you've been so desperate to see? Don't you worry, Joe. I know exactly what I'm doing. Looks empty to me. No, there are people here. There are people, God, in my head. Trump, I can't see shit. There's nothing in here. Follow me. There is, there is, come, please, come. I don't know what he's on. I think this guy lost his mind. What the hell are you guys talking about? We are so close. Please, just a few more steps and we are there. Yo, Obama, let's just go. He's going insane. I might have some spare pills on me if he ever comes back. Come on. Are you guys serious? Whatever. I will show you. Dear salvation, finally, no way I made it out alive. Those fuckers will come to me on their knees once I find somebody who can get us out of here. Uh, my head, I just need to, uh, what, where am I? What is this? I need to climb stairs. Please, God, let anybody be here. Please, I need somebody to be here. Come on. Yes, I'm getting there. I'm getting closer. This is it. I was right. I was so right all along. This is what they get if they don't have faith in me. They should have appreciated me when they had the chance. Oh my God, I will show them, I will show them all. This is the room, the room is here, they will help me. What, where the hell is everybody? Uh, oh, well, Donald J, your instinct took you only this far. And the worst part is that Joe and Obama were right all along. Also, Joe might have gotten a point. That was one hell of a trip.
Maybe going up those stairs got me exhausted. I'm in my 50s at the end of the day. This is what happens if you get no cardio in for 20 years. Let's just hope I'll be good going forward. Whatever, this is nothing to worry about. I just got another brilliant idea. Well, boys, this is awkward. Awkward? You had a full-on schizophrenic episode, could have gotten all of us killed, and this is what you call it? Awkward? Whatever, stay coping, Obama. It's okay, Trump. It happens to me all the time. All of the stress is getting to us. Time to move. No more talking. Did we just hit a boulder? Trump, you will dent the car if you keep on running into that creatine sack. I swear to God, is every person at this military camp build like Abraham Lincoln? Bro, Trump, these are little babies compared to Lincoln. He was like six foot six and a pro wrestler. He still didn't have a titanium skull like this zombie does. If you think about it, we might be the less able body presidents of all time, especially Obama. He's basically a cuck. Biden, you cannot even recite the alphabet. And Trump has been hearing voices for the past two days. Don't worry about it. I feel way better now. Yeah, I bet you don't even know what you're doing. You are just driving around like a lunatic right now. In fact, Obama, we are looking for an airplane, you uninformed swine. I don't see any airplanes either on the ground or in the sky. Good job, Sherlock. Biden is right. Since there are no airplanes, we need to get out. I know where we need to go. To God! Uh, oh my God, are we floating? Am I in heaven? Oh, Thank God I have Lincoln blood flowing through my veins. I'm starting to think that you like permanent brain damage. At least roll us over, idiot. I personally removed all of the airbags in this car. This is what being a real man feels like, Obama. So where are you taking us to? Amazing question, Biden. While I was up there in the tower, I remembered I have a private plane filled with baddies. The only issue is that the plane is one city away, and we will have to drive to get there. I'm not getting in the same plane with no other woman than Michelle. Same girls older than 12 scare me because they have the upper hand from a physical point of view. Well, since Epstein went to jail, all I have are adult women. Well, Trump, you surely drive like one. You're lucky your wife injects hormones of gorillas from Guatemala on a daily basis. No idea how you could live with her otherwise. Come on, fat man, you do more coke than Biden's son. You can barely tell what you're going through every day. Don't bring my kids into this, plus only one of them is a drug addict. For your knowledge, I'm lifelong sober. That doesn't help the fact that you look like a divorced alcoholic father who watches football on the weekend. I wonder if they have fried chicken here. No time to eat. There are too many zombies in this area. Trump, look ahead. The zombies are roadblocking us. This isn't London, Sleepy Joe. It's not like they can steal our car. If you keep on denting it like an idiot, even the wind will take our car door off. I would give away one of my 38 Miami mansions to watch the zombies get a hold of Joe and ragdoll him. Come on, man. Hey, Trump, why are you looking at Joe like that? Watch where you're driving, dumbass. Ah, uh, oh my God, who parks their car like this? The Libertarian Party is the reason why our country is slowly degrading. People just stop their cars in the middle of the street now. We're in a zombie apocalypse, idiot. What did you expect? If I ruled the country, this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Joe been hanging out with the Chinese government lately. Maybe their labs created this virus as well. Nah, we just play unreleased versions of Mario Kart. I bet you fell asleep playing stupid games and they implanted a chip inside you. No human being would willingly listen to you talk for more than one hour. I don't think Joe is even allowed in the Oval Room. That's true. They literally have nothing to gain if they chip him. Come on, man. Hey, Obama, know what the crazy part is? Joe has been like this ever since he was a baby. Even worse, he could barely talk when he was in his 30s. My God, you should hold presidential debates with Eminem. You talk more than my wife. Why is her fat ass stopping in front of a convenience store? Because we need supplies, you idiot. No, we need supplies. You are like 60% body fat. You can survive with no food for three months. What the hell? Were these always so expensive? No, but Joe's dumbass has been printing money nonstop for six months. It's called making money. You wouldn't understand. My God, how many are you grabbing? Well, I need to grab enough for all three of us, and all you guys are doing is sitting there like you're my bodyguards or something. Fox News will hear about this. You are insulting the police department right now. What a snitch. This is why they can't have you in the Oval Room or any other cool place like the Epstein Island. If he went one more day without food, he would have eaten us. Whatever, Sleepy Joe, now shut up and let me focus on the road. I'm taking a nap. Wake me up when we're there. My God, I can't even sleep. This car is too loud. Unfortunately, we have to make do with this Honda. It sounds like this because you ran over every zombie you could find. Somebody has to clear the infection somehow, Obama. How about we worry about cleaning out the city after we get out of it? Where are you flying us, by the way? Well, since Jeffrey didn't turn off his air defense missiles before getting arrested, we might need to go to North Yankton. Hopefully the virus didn't spread to there as well. What the hell will we be doing there? We might as well go to Detroit. The people there have been zombies for years now. By the way, when will we get to the airport? 
We are already there. Prepare for the most cinematic shot ever. Um, yo ho, I guess. Whoa! Ah, shit. Damn. You just rammed our car, James Bond. Quit crying, Obama. We are literally here. We don't need this old piece of metal anyways. Fine. And, uh... Um... Obama is right. We were floating for like five minutes straight. All right, come on. We got this. I, I see it. Gasping for air, fatty. Never saw him run. Didn't know he could do that. Hands might be shaky, but my aim is still on point. Forget about killing zombies. Where the hell is your plane? Chill your tits. The plane is right in front of you. My own private unlocked plane filled with Mexican woman I got from the other side of the wall. There ain't nobody in that plane. No soul would still sit in there after the zombies started appearing. And do you even know how to drive this thing? Not gonna lie, this plane needs daily maintenance, which it didn't get, and the engines look kind of rusty. Don't worry about it. Obama is being a puss-puss again. Don't forget he's married to a man. At least I'm not married to a gold digger like Trump. A man having money is like a woman being beautiful. Leave Melania alone, and she isn't a gold digger anyways. Well, Trump, you know what your good friend Kanye said? Do not say that name ever again, Joe. Why are you butt hurt because he spoke the truth? Why are we going sideways? North Yankton, here we come. This will take a few hours. Let's hope that wherever we're going isn't infested with zombies like this place is. Even if it is. I got a private mansion in there, so we should be good. Let's hope that unlike the White House, you don't have your kids sniffing cocaine in there. Come on, man. He did it once. No big deal. He could be doing it every day, but you just forget right after. I'm sorry, Joe, but all of that good stuff Hunter gave you is strictly forbidden in my house. Melania doesn't allow me to bring people in the crib anyways. Bro, why not? If a woman wants to have an affair, I don't think you would be an option. Anyways, hearing you cucks talk made me kind of dizzy. I'm going to sleep. It's the second time today. I don't want to sit in silence with Obama. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, no. It's not looking Ooh, good. Ooh, what the hell is going on? Good morning, Sleepy. We are doomed. Both engines failed. We can keep the plane going for only this long. I told you, idiots. I, I said we shouldn't let Trump drive. I told you the plane was not looking good. I told you. I told you both. I was Race asleep for four hours. How is he still complaining? This is what happens when you don't listen to me. Shut up. This landing messed my arm up. I can't feel my hand. You know what? You deserve it for getting us into this. What do you mean? All I'm doing is helping us. Well, this plane isn't going anywhere. Time to go on foot if we can figure out where we are. Nothing to worry about. I know this place like the back of my hand. We still are a few hours away. Thank God I brought supplies. Did you bring ice cream by any chance? No, but I have some at my place if we manage to get there. Look ahead. There are lots of cars and lights. Thank God this city isn't infected. We can maybe get inside one of the cars. What are you talking about? Imagine if that gets leaked. We are the presidents. We can go around hitchhiking. BBC News will be going bananas. All right, I have a better idea. What the hell are you doing, dumbass? This is the first person I've seen in days besides you two. I don't have faith in an old retired lady to drive me around. I bet she drives better than you. Bro, what if she has a dash cam? We're all doomed if this gets leaked. My arm is pretty messed up. Let's hope I'm still able to drive. The road is also looking slippery. Finally, I don't have to sit next to Joe. I got tired of hearing him snore. Still can't believe this guy ended up president. Come on, man. That's all you say. Come on, man. You have to stand your ground for once, you wrinkly old loser. All of that adrenaline got Obama's blood flowing to his balls for the first time in like 15 years. Keep talking smack. I'm the only president that everybody liked and didn't get in any weird stuff. Oh, for sure. Those Syrian kids must have loved you, huh? Okay, one minor slip up in over eight years, that's not so bad. You've been president for like two years and spend more time at meetings sleeping than awake. Obama spitting facts right now. The people that voted for you literally apologized for it a week later. I might have printed money a bit too much, but I at least didn't spend six months building a wall. You should be grateful to me. That wall is the reason why there are less drugs in America right now. But to be fair, you might see that as a downside for yourself. Why do you check for trains? You just took us through hell trying to fly with your car a few hours ago. A five-meter drop is way less likely to kill you than a train, idiot. Nah, a train can't kill me. I'm built different. By the way, Obama, it smells like doo-doo in here. Did that plane landing make you react in a certain way? Joe forgot his adult diapers at the White House. Plus, with none of the fibers from his ice cream, he can't hold it in for too long. Whatever, Barack, I bet Michelle even wipes for you a swell. This is why me and Trump are always teaming up on you. You are literally sick in the head, Joe. I told you before to stop. I'm not okay with this. Go straight, Trump. What? I was talking about the road. Guys, do you see this? I told you nobody knows how to park. It wasn't because of the zombies. This place is a safe heaven. I don't think so. That might have been an actual roadblock, but this car is too old for anybody to steal. Anyways, I'm tired nap time. Why the hell did we stop? Trump finished all the supplies and decided he needs a little snack at 2 a.m. 
Too bad it's closed. Anyways, let's get moving. Bro, why does this place look like this? And what the hell is this off-brand Burger King Trump? Are you taking us to the projects right now? Oh, shoot, you're right, Joe. We should turn around while we still have the chance. Trump, why is your house here? This whole place looks like a dumpster fire. Well, my house is a paradise, and anyways, no reason hate on me if you don't like the place. Whatever, wake me up when we're there. Joe managed to get a whole night's sleep and a little more while we've been awake nonstop. Wake up, Joe. This is it. We are getting there. Finally, it's almost morning. Also, what the hell is up with these cars? Did Obama park these for Michelle? No, Michelle doesn't drive anything but her sim. I mean, husband's cars. And we both know he doesn't have the testosterone to drive SUVs. Now that I'm in a civilized city, I can hang out with new people and don't need you guys anymore. By the way, all of this time I spend with you was only because Trump had enough money to get us out of there. Well, Obama, feel free to sleep on my yard then. Be careful, Trump. There are some snakes in this grass, if you know what I mean. Wait, is this your house? Hell yeah, it is. It's my most beautiful piece of real estate out of all, and I own many. Are we sure this is the same person that owns Trump Tower? On the big screens, I might look like a greedy, money-hungry man, but I, in fact, value spending time with family, watering flowers, and stacking enough bands to buy a small country. It's the little things in life. As you can see, here's my gaming PC. I only have Minecraft on it. We all might even do Let's Plays later on. Who knows? I even have a shower. Make sure you don't drop the soap in there with Joe. Only God knows the things he will do to you. A small living room. We can maybe watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians or anything of that kind. Melania got me into reality shows. As you can see, guys, this is the best place where we can stay, at least until the virus reaches this city as well. My arm is fractured, and I need a while to rest. Make yourselves at home. First your head, now your arm. I guess that this is what happens when you are billed like a human jelly bean. Thanks, Trump. We will be on the lookout for any news regarding the virus. By the way, Joe, you're the one sleeping in the same bed with Donald. I would rather sleep on the floor than share a bed with him.